Growing up in uh, North Vancouver, I think tires are of the utmost importance. Uh, super wet, super slippery all the time, so uh, you really need the best tires on your bike or else you're gonna be hitting the ground pretty often. I've been working with Maxxis now for five years and uh, had a ton of experience with their high roller. Well, yeah, the high roller 2 is it's really been improved in a lot of ways. The first thing I noticed about the high roller 2 was that the spacing has been improved. Uh, it sheds mud better. I think it's going to be even better than the high roller uh, in wet condition. The braking has been improved. And uh, I think the biggest thing for me is the transition to the side knobs and, and also how far the side knobs go before you lose total traction. It's really going to hang on to the last minute. Fortunately, I was able to try the high roller too up in Kamloops as well uh, in the dust and, and super dry conditions and it worked well at high speeds and in uh, more drifty, dusty corners. Uh, the side knobs are super soft uh, for conditions like that so uh, it really helped traction really well. Uh, like the original high roller, the high roller 2 uses the uh, 3C triple compound technology which is you know really sticky sticky enough to uh, grab all the roots and stuff, but still stiff enough uh, that it's there when you need it, um, when you're leaning hard over in those corners. I think this tire uh, is going to shine in a lot of conditions. Uh, it really is an all-around tire, but I think it's really, really going to stand out when it gets wet and, and slippery in conditions like these here on the North Shore. That's where the High Roller 2 is going to perform best.